Hello guys, welcome back to the channel for a new Databricks video. In this video, we are going to see alternative solutions to user-defined functions. Until recently, I was not aware there are much more efficient ways to achieve the same result as UDFs. I performed a lookup activity at work using UDF when a good colleague of mine recommended an alternative solution since UDFs have significant overhead with serialization and deserialization between JVM and Python. For lookup activities, instead of using UDF, he recommended using functions like createMap and ElementAd, which take advantage of the Spark Catalyst optimizer. Using createMap, we can convert a lookup table into a map type column, and using ElementAd, we can retrieve a value based on the key during a column update. Now you will ask me, what about more complex logic, more complex activities than sim a simple lookup activity? Then we can use Pandas UDF, which process data in batches, minimizing the serialization overhead. Let's see a comparison between those methods with a practical example. Okay guys, now here in, in our Databricks workspace I have a notebook with a very similar example with what I faced at work. Pretty similar, very very similar actually. So here we have sample data, we have three columns, the code column, the ID column and the region column. And here we have sample data, as you can see it's about 50 records or so, and in some cases, now that was the scenario. In some cases, as you can see, we have ID column is null and the region column is also null. So if both columns are null, then we have to search in the lookup dictionary or the lookup table. We have to provide the code as a key and get back the region as a value in, from the lookup dictionary. Let me see, let me run this command and see how data frame here, we have 47 records and as you can see there are cases like that where both ID and region columns are null so this is when we have to actually apply the UDF or search our lookup in our lookup dictionary to get back the region. Now the first implementation is by using user-defined functions. This is my first implementation. So what I did, I created a lookup a user defined function, I provided the code, I got back the region and applied the user defined function into our uh, data frame in the region column. So with column region, when column ID is null and column region is null, then we apply the UDF here in the providing the code and get back the region, otherwise region. So, of course, it works fine. The, uh, it's uh, it, it's a very simple implementation. However, it, uh, UDF, as we said, has advantages and disadvantages. The advantages of using user-defined functions is that it's pretty straightforward and easy to implement for Python users like myself. The logic can be placed inside Python functions for better organization and unit testing. Now the drawbacks. Python UDFs introduce significant overhead because they operate on Spark's data in a row-by-row -row manner. Requires serialization and deserialization between the JVM, Spark's engine and Python, which makes it slower for large datasets. UDFs are not optimized by Spark's Catalyst Optimizer, reducing execution efficiency. Now, as you can see, it ran pretty fast. However, this is a very small sample of data, that's why. Now, let's go to the alternative way and the, probably the best way so far when to perform lookup activities in a Spark data frame. We can use createMap and element add functions. CreateMap converts the dictionary to a Spark map type column using CreateMap. 
Sparks element out retrieves the value for a given key during column updates, taking advantage of Sparks Catalyst Optimizer. Advantages fully optimized for distributed computations, since the mapping is handled at the JVM level. Faster for large datasets compared to UDF, because no Python to JVM overhead is introduced. Scales well with big data workloads. Drawbacks simply more complex to set up. Create map requires transforming the Python dictionary into Spark expression, require more initial effort. As you can see here, this is what we do. This is the Spark expression using create map. Uh, we iterate through the lookup uh, dictionary here. Four items in the lookup dictionary, four item in items, then we use lit. And this is how you can create map type columns. Now I'm going to print the results so you can see it. And then here, instead of applying a UDF, it's the same case when expression in the data frame, but instead of applying UDF, we're using element add, which retrieves the value based on the key during a code um, column update, right? So when we run this, now this is a pretty small data set. Uh, it's much faster than using user-defined function, especially in big data sets. Now the mapping expressions, you can see it's column, map, and here we have the values from the dictionary. Again, we populated the region column as expected a bit faster, but again, in a larger data set, the time difference is yeah, very significant. Now, for more complex logic. For more complex logic, we have Pandas UDF. The key distinction lies in their performance and execution approach. Pandas UDFs are much faster than regular PySpark. UDFs because they process data in batches and leverage vectorized operations minimizing serialization overhead. A Pandas UDF processes data in a vectorized fashion. Spark sends batches of data to the Pandas worker, which processes them using efficient Pandas operations. For small data, the performance difference may not be drastic, but as the dataset grows, the advantage of using Pandas UDF become increasingly apparent. So exactly the same here, we apply the Pandas user-defined function, but instead of the user-defined function here, uh, we use Pandas UDF, right? And let's perform the same thing as you can see here. We are applying the Pandas UDF. Now it took a little bit more time, but uh, actually it's, you know, because of uh, the small data set. But in a larger data set, believe me, it makes, uh, there is a performance difference for sure. So these are two alternatives instead of using user-defined functions, which have a lot of serialization overhead, you can use uh, for lookup activities, you can use create map and element add, which is very, very fast since it's utilizing Spark Catalyst Optimizer and it scales very well with big data workloads. Okay, I understand it's a bit more uh, initial effort, that's for sure, but uh, the performance, the difference in performance is worth it. And then for more complex logic, you can use Pandas UDF, which process data, which processes data in batches, so to minimize serialization overhead. So these are two alternative ways of using user-defined functions. If you enjoyed the video, please click the like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.